I'm dealing with an issue that I recently just noticed with my hair. The day that I was dyeing my hair, I accidentally missed a lot of spots. And to the obvious viewer that's just watching my hair, it just looks cool, it looks nice, you know, you can't tell the spots that I missed. But if you see me in person, you will actually notice a lot of spots that are not filled in correctly or that are not filled at all. And this happened because I was looking at my viewfinder on my camera while I was dyeing my hair. And this could be a problem because as time goes on, the colors will fade out of your hair and that spot would just look like that forever and I don't want it to look like that I want it to blend in with the rest of my hair many of you guys know that I recently had to dye my hair the Gucci color slash Christmas which a lot of you guys love to call it Christmas I call it Gucci because I want to be bougie before I introduce this color I was going through something that was really really hard to bear and that is when I messed up with stripping away the hair color that was on my hair previously I had thought that I messed it up and as you guys saw my journey through it I recovered really well by just using a regular bleach instead of using a color remover called oops corrector and I'm gonna keep getting on this company right here never use this oops corrector I don't care I don't care I don't want to hear it I just don't want to hear it it's just a really bad experience and for those of you guys that don't know what that experience is like click on the right corner of the video you will see a video that is linked in there of me trying to strip away the hair but I ended up ruining my hair so yeah have fun with that video but come back to this video after you're done because you will see the redemption of the whole thing and this is the end of my hair the result that I got after using a regular bleach and then dyeing it a color that is forest green and also also blood red or I think they called it dark red or blood red I think I don't know something like that welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe I'm like Beethoven with the bass on and me classic kids away pop but today is a new day hey and we got a what we got a all right, so today I'm gonna be shooting a different style. Here's a light, you guys. And then I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna take y'all with me because we're gonna be getting some ginger because my wife uh, wants some tea. Uh, one of the things that in Ethiopia we drank all the time was tea. Tea, 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 tea. Hot tea, too, not just ice. This is, you know, in America is the first time I heard about iced tea. I was like, what? Y'all put ice in y'all tea? I don't get it. Why would you do that? So you're gonna boil the water, put the sugar in it, and put some ice in it so you can sell it. I mean, that's smart. Uh, easy sell, you know what I mean? Especially for McDonald's. So we're gonna go do that and uh, we're gonna make some tea with me. The main idea of the video is for me to touch up the color of my hair. I almost ruined my dreadlocks because if I had, you know, put a little bit more, it would have ate through it because I didn't even notice it when I was rinsing it. I noticed it literally after I was rinsing it when I was editing the video, I think. That's when I noticed. I think, yeah. I think that's when I noticed and I was like, I ran to the bathroom. I was like, what the heck is that? And then, boom cleared it out but let me touch that up i think i'm gonna touch it up with green just because green kind of looks like black almost i have some drill lock extension that i've added in my hair besides these spots that i need to fill where you at buddy come out come out wherever you are come out come out wherever you are right there this extension can get some red right there just to kind of fill it out so it doesn't look awkward and weird but uh this is the best extension i've ever had in my life and I had recommended you guys where to get it from and everything like that on that video when I dyed my whole hair. So, without further ado, here is Intro! What the heck is a train over here for, man? When I was in, um, where'd you go? <laughs> when I... Did you that? I used to work down here! I can show you yeah, my first job. Mm -hmm. Um, and this Kanto? thing always made me late because this goofiness. Who are you recording? <laughs> Sorry. It's like, what the heck? What this, the heck? This goofiness. I promise you, you just went backwards, went forward, backwards, and then went forward. Why do you do that? I don't know. Outfits. Are you ready? Oh yeah, we should get outfits. Oh, we should get your Ethiopian outfit. We gonna, we gonna do that soon. We're gonna be cute too. Watch this. So we got Shiro right here. We got Barbari. Save. We got Halibut. Halibut? Halibut. <laughs> we got Hachali Mita. So, these are like the main ingredients that we use a lot Wait. of times. 
There's white shadow? There's white shadow, yes. Uh, how come we never had that? How come no one has that? And these are like fire. Like all these things that you're seeing right here. Yeah, I know they're fire. Yeah, My eyes are so burning. good. Come on, look where. You're the eyes now. How you're looking is how they want to see it. Okay, so now I'm going to see come right here. We got like E.D. Open Clothes. So this is what E.D. Open Clothes look like. Probably this one will picture right here. Oh, if I see you with this. What if we went to go see your grandma in it? What? Your grandma in Canada? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, right here we got like, we got like some things right here. We're at the store right now with the wife. He say hi to ActiveWorks family. This ActiveWorks. Hi. Uh, guys, so we're getting her a ginger tea just because it's that time. I don't know how much. And uh, she's going to be eating some Ethiopian food tonight. We're going to make a tea right next to it. Select the item. See you at the house. Alright you guys, so I have a little bit of leftover from last time. Kind of like dried up a little bit because it's been a few days. I'm going to put like a warm water on here to see if that kind of helps it mix. I don't know if that's a dumb idea yet because yeah, like it's like a clump right now. So I got to do something. I just got done with the process of touch-ups. I uh, touched up mainly the black part where it transitioned to a bleach or now the colors. I had to retouch a lot of those. And then also what I ended up doing is I lightened out the color with some water, with some hot water so it can kind of mix and give it that paint look, almost like a water paint so that it doesn't be like a bunch of clumps on my hair. So with this one, I probably would not let it like rinse as, as, as far as what I'm thinking. If I see like anything around, you know, my bed or anything like that, that is just too much clump then I can rinse out but I'm gonna give it like 30 minutes to an hour to dry out and uh, I think it will be dry and it wouldn't come out of course if water hits it even the rest of it that doesn't that has been dry since the last dye will start to come out I touched up as you guys can see right there I did like the bleach look right there too but uh, I wanted to see a darker look which so far I like it's not that bad and it's like the green so uh, it kind of blends in a little bit if I'm in the dark uh, if I'm in the light you kind of see it but as far as like the result I like it maybe I need to retouch this part up again uh, it's not that bad but this is what it looks like after the retouch up guys I can kind of feel the wetness of some of them so I will put it in a bag and let it sit for like 30 minutes to an hour thank you guys for watching this video till next time keep acting diverse and creative universe I'm active and I'm out stay tuned